There are a few ways to create glossy or glass spheres in Photoshop. Here's one way I do it using just a photograph. First I'm going to make this photograph a perfect square. So I'll go to image size and I'm going to set this to 5 inches by 5 inches. Duplicate the background layer and create a new layer between the two layers and fill it with black. This will come into play later. Select the topmost layer. Go to Filter, Distort, Polar Coordinates. We're going to run this filter twice. The first time we're going to select Polar to Rectangular. Click OK. and You get this nice drippy wing looking thing. Now we're going to flip the image or at least transform this layer, flip the layer, go to transform, edit transform, flip vertical. Okay, back to the filters, go to distort, polar coordinates once again, and now select rectangular to polar. And here we get a sphere. As you can see there are already some reflections inside this thing. Uh, simply due to the light that was in the photograph. Select the elliptical marquee tool and I have my style set to fixed X aspect ratio with a ratio of 1 to 1 or you can simply hold down the shift key when drawing the selection. But go ahead and select most of the spheres starting in the upper left drawing to the lower right. You can leave just a little bit of the sphere outside the selection and then just move the selection into position with the arrow keys. Go to select, inverse, and hit delete. And select inverse again. Now your sphere is separated from its background. The black you see is from the layer beneath it. Now we'll add a few highlights. Go to filter, render, lens flare, and you can play with the settings however you like. I'm going to use the 105 millimeter prime set to about 119-120% and click OK. That positions our light source in the upper left corner. We can add further highlights with the dodge tool. I have the dodge tool selected with a round feathered brush the range set to midtones and the exposure to 50 to 55 percent. Now since this is glass, or supposed to be glass, some light may pass through the object. And so down here in the lower right corner, since our light source is in the upper left, I'm going to create some highlights in the lower right simply by painting with the dodge tool. Okay just to help give the illusion that there's a little light coming through the object. Okay, And I might want to do this in a couple other spots. Keep in mind, um, move your mouse along the curve of the sphere, Okay, moving toward the center. And you can create a few brighter highlights if you like. Do the same down in the lower left quadrant. You can put these wherever you want. I'm just playing around here basically. We can also darken a few areas. Say there's some shadow or whatever. We can either switch straight to the burn tool and do this or just hold down the alt key and that'll change to the burn tool while we have that held down and paint a few shadows in here. Again, moving with the curve of the sphere and toward the center. Okay. I darken a couple other spots. And over here I'm going to run the dodge tool again around the edge because I darkened that a little too much. I 
go ahead and deselect and here we have a glass sphere created from just a photograph